Another issue that we've been aware of and we're working on is the fact that poor and minority communities are suffering most. The numbers in this state are not nearly as bad as the disparity in any other, in many other states, but any disparity is bad. Uh, and that's what we have been focusing on here. We uh, did surveys and data that show if you look at the 21 zip codes with the highest number of hospitalizations for COVID, 20 of those 21 have greater than average African American or Latino populations. 20 of 21 of those zip codes. So there's no doubt that it is a problem. And you can, we've mapped this and you can see exactly where uh, people are coming from as they're walking into hospitals. Part of the new system that we've implemented through this is hospitals report nightly how many cases they have, where they come from, and we can now literally map the number of people and where they're coming from throughout the state. New York, we're going right at uh, finding the reasons for the disparity and resolving them. We're doing more testing in low-income communities and communities of color. We're doing testing in public housing aggressively, <coughs> excuse me, partnering with Ready Responders, uh, which is a group which is doing great work. We've delivered PPE equipment, masks, over one million, hand sanitizer, et cetera, to public housing. And today, we're launching a new initiative, again, to address exactly this, which is to expand access to testing in low-income communities and communities of 